Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and today I will discuss about some reporter genes that what are the reporter genes and the different example of reporter gene will also be covered. So without any delay, let's start the video. Firstly, we should know that what are the reporter genes. So reporter gene is a gene whose expression can be, you can say whose expression can be seen with the eyes. So in technical terms, you can say that expression which result in the quantifiable phenotype and in simple words the whose expression can be seen with the naked eyes like in the form of color in the form of you can say fluorescence so the gene whose expression can be clearly visible so that are the known as reporter genes and these genes are sometimes also called as the scorable or screenable genes and the basic principle of using these reporter gene is that we incorporate these reporter gene into the vector now the position of vector can be detected because the expression of this gene will ultimately give some quantifiable phenotype to that particular cell which contain that vector and by visualizing their phenotype we can clearly see the position of our vector we can also use them to just distinguish the identical genes from the genome means if the particular gene it contain or if it is fused with the reporter gene so its position can be easily find out by visualizing the phenotype of this reporter genes so this is the basic principle that how we use this reporter genes in the research methodology now let's discuss some examples of these commonly used reporter gene first is the gfp gene so this gene it encode enzyme that is green fluorescence protein this gene it has been obtained from the jellyfish that is aquaria victoria and this gene it emits the green fluorescence light in blue to ultraviolet range so the formation of green fluorescence it ultimately detected by using the fluorescence microscope and the position of this gene can be clearly visible or can be clearly identified by visualizing the green fluorescence light. Next is the LAC Z gene. This gene that is LAC Z gene, it, it is generally taken from the E. coli. So it encodes the enzyme beta galactosidase. This enzyme it can hydrolyze its substrate that is X-gal. X-gal is 5 bromo 4 chloro 3 indolyl beta d galactopyranoside so this is the substrate and this enzyme beta galactosidase it hydrolyzes its substrate that is x gal and ultimately form blue color colony on the media the media which contain the x gal so upon hydrolyzing this x gal substrate that bacteria will ultimately make the blue colonies and this is due to the presence of lac z gene in that bacteria so this lac z gene can be act as a reporter gene how we use this lac jet gene to identify a particular bacterial colony so in that case we use the insertional inactivation mechanism means we just put our gene of interest into this lac jet gene due to this this lac jet gene it get deactivated so now the bacteria which carry the recombinant plasmid means the plasmid in which this lac jet gene has been inactivated due to the insertion of foreign gene so now this bacteria cannot hydrolyze the X gal substrate which is present in the media. So if it is not able to hydrolyze the X gal, so it will give white colonies. So ultimately, ultimately, which distinguish it from non-recombinant cells because the non-recombinant cells have the functional X jet gene, so they will form the blue colonies. While the recombinant plasmid, they do not have the functional X jet gene, so they will not hydrolyze the X gal. So they will produce white colonies. So due to this we use this gene as a selection procedure which is known as the blue white selection next reporter gene is the lux gene this gene it encode the enzyme that is luciferase and this gene is obtained from the vibrio harvey and vibrio fisheri it is generally you can say in these organism this luciferase it is expressed as heterodimeric flavin monooxygenase which is responsible for catalyzing a light emitting reaction means it emit the light so these lux genes in the plant they can be expressed and the activity of luciferase it is normally measured 
as the initial maximum light intensity upon mixing the enzyme with its aldehyde and reduced fmn h2 substrate in the presence of oxygen so the light emission can be monitored visually or photographically or by electronically means if we use these genes so there will be the emission of light which can be easily identified next example is luc lep gene this gene code the luciferase gene it is isolated from the north american fly that is fortinus pyrelis it catalyzes the oxidative decarboxylation of this luciferin to oxyluciferin in the presence of atp oxygen and magnesium ions and the luminescence in the term of light production it can be recorded by using luminometer means when we use these genes as a reporter gene so there will be also the you can say production of light which can be measured by luminometer and which ultimately indicate their position next is uid a gene or gus gene this uid a gene it encode a beta glucuronidase enzyme which ultimately break down this glucuronide substrate to a colored product and how we detect this so this gene can be detected by by detecting its fluorescence assay which use the fluorogenic substrate that is 4 mu glucuronidase or we can also perform histochemical assay which use the substrate x glucuronidase so this 4 mu glucuronidase nide substrate can be converted into colored reaction by this enzyme beta glucuronidase enzyme which is encoded or which is formed by this enzyme uida or gus gene so this is also one of the gene which is used as a reporter gene next cat gene this gene it encode for the enzyme chloramphenicol acetyl transferase that is cat enzyme which is used to done the acetylation of chloramphenicol so the enzymatic assay which is used to see this gene is that chloramphenicol in the presence of acetyl coa so this enzyme that is cat enzyme it acetylate this chloramphenicol ultimately form the acetylated chloramphenicol in the next step this acetylated chloramphenicol it can be detected by the auto radiography so by using this cat gene we can also detect the expression of this cat gene so these are the some examples of commonly used reporter genes so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much